It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> Chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? We all play a game of hide and seek. Yay! I love hide and seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie, and Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> Well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket, enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Mmm! I love watermelon! Oh, no! Oops! Don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no. Ants. They're on me. They're on me. Me, too. It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide-and-seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. Caillou was very excited because today, Daddy was going to help him and Leo build a special project for the science fair. Okay, I think we have everything we need. What are we building, Daddy? A spaceship? Not exactly. We're going to make a volcano. Cool! Volcanoes are awesome. I saw one on TV once. How does it work? I'll show you. Caillou watched as Daddy poured some liquid inside one of the soda bottles. What's that stuff? It's vinegar and red food coloring. We're going to use it to make lava. It doesn't look like lava. No? Well, watch this. Wow! That was amazing! Yeah! Just like real lava! 
now we can make a real volcano. First, we need to glue a soda bottle onto the cardboard. Like this? Perfect. Next, we need to add some scrunched up newspaper around it. Caillou and Leo scrunched up the sheets of newspaper and with Daddy's help, glued them around the bottle. Great job! Now it's time for the messy part. Take a strip of newspaper and dip it in the bowl. Then lay it on the sides of the volcano like this. Caillou and Leo did what Daddy had showed them and stuck down all the sticky bits of paper to make the volcano. Great job, guys. We're almost finished. Now we just need to paint it. We can use brown for the mountain, green for the grass. Yeah, and we can use some red around the top for the lava. Making volcanoes is fun. Caillou and Leo had lots of fun with the paints. It looked just like a real volcano. Great job, guys. I can't wait to see it in action tomorrow at the science fair. It was the day of the science fair, and Caillou and Leo were ready to present their volcano. Hello, everyone. I'd like to show you the volcano that Leo and I made. A volcano is kind of like a mountain with a chimney in the middle. When the volcano has too much lava inside, it pops out the top, like this. Caillou had lots of fun making the <laughs> volcano with Daddy and Leo. Ta-da! <laughs> he hoped that maybe one day he could see a real volcano, but maybe from a safer distance next time. Today was Leo's birthday, and he had invited Caillou to his birthday party. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to wake up. We need to get ready for Leo's party. It's today! Yes, now up you get. I promised Leo's mommy that we'd make Leo a special birthday cake. Mommy had laid out all of the things they needed to make a special cake for Leo. Okay, Caillou. I'll read the recipe, and you can put the ingredients in the bowl. Okay! The first thing we need is some sugar and some flour. Caillou found the sugar and the flour and poured them into the bowl. There! What's next? Now, we need to add some butter. Oh, there it is! Now, we need to add some eggs. I'll help you with those. Eggs can be a little messy if you're not careful. Caillou watched as Mommy took the eggs and gently cracked them into the mixing bowl. Can I try one? Sure. Caillou took the egg and tapped it on the side of the bowl. Hey, it didn't work. Try a little harder, Caillou. Oops, I missed the ball. That's okay, Caillou. It takes some practice. Caillou watched as Mommy stirred the cake mixture. It looked very tasty. Can I lick the spoon? It looks so yummy. While we wait for the cake to bake, we can go and get you changed into your costume. Ka 
Caillou and Mommy arrived at the party. Everybody looked very funny in their costumes. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Leo. Happy birthday. Thanks. That's a cool spaceman costume. Thanks. Your night costume is really cool, too. Do you want to give Leo his present, Caillou? Look, Leo. I baked you a cake for your birthday. I decorated it myself. Wow, it looks delicious. Thanks, Caillou. It was time for Leo to blow out his birthday candles. Make a wish, Leo. Thanks for the cake, Caillou. It's the best cake I've ever had. <laughs> Caillou was very happy to be at Leo's birthday party. He was especially happy to eat the yummy cake he and Mommy had made. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant. Great choice, Caillou. Where is it, Mommy? Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Caillou liked the elephant. He especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mommy and the daddy lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please! Say cheese! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> I did it! Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? Look! They're eating it! Hey! My hat! Monkey! They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. <laughs> Look. 
Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. It was a beautiful sunny day outside, but Caillou was having lots of fun with Clementine indoors. They were playing a new computer game called Dig and Build. Nice one, Clementine. You carry on building the base while I go into the forest and find us some more wood. Okay, Caillou, but be careful. The forest is full of giant spiders. Caillou, what are you doing sitting inside? I told you to stop playing that video game ages ago. We can't stop now, Mommy. It'll be dark soon and we have to get the base ready before the monsters come. You and Clementine have been playing inside all morning. It's a beautiful day. You should be outside playing in the garden. Just five more minutes, please. Yeah, please. No, that's enough. Turn it off now. Okay, I did warn you. Mommy, we weren't finished yet. That was your last chance, Caillou. You're grounded. No more video games today. You have to go outside and help Daddy and I with the chores. But, Mommy... Come on, off you go outside. Otherwise, it'll be no more video games tomorrow, either. Caillou was very grumpy. He didn't want to go outside. He wanted to play more of his video game. What are we supposed to do out here? Well, you can start by helping Daddy. He's been raking up all the leaves and sticks from the lawn. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. What's the matter? Mommy turned off our video game. She said we have to come and do chores outside. Well, she's right, Caillou. Video games are lots of fun, but playing them too much isn't good for you. I know. Why don't you help me finish collecting these leaves, and then we can play a game. Deal? Okay, I guess. Hey, Clementine! Look at this! Wow! It's just like Dig and Build! You're right! We can finish building our base after all! There we go! Now we each have a pickaxe, a spade, and an axe! Perfect! Now we can start to collect some materials to build our base. It'll be nighttime soon, so we'll have to be quick. Good idea! Let's go and collect some stones first. I think I saw some over there. Great, let's go. You were right, Caillou. There's loads of stones here. Caillou and Clementine collected the stone using the pickaxes they had crafted. My bag's almost full. We should head back to base and start building. There, that looks awesome. Now we'll need to make some walls and a door. Let's go and gather some more wood and sticks. Great idea! We can get some from that tree over there. Caillou and Clementine used the axes they had crafted to gather the wood from the tree. Hey, where did my rake go? <laughs> wow, I thought Caillou would still be grumpy. But it looks like they're having lots of fun doing the chores. There! That should be plenty. Quick, let's go and finish the base. It's starting to get dark. Phew! We did it! Yeah, and just in time. Let's get inside. We can build some more in the morning when it's safe. What an awesome base we've built! I know. It's better than our video game base. <gasps> oh, what was that? Don't worry. Nothing will be able to get us while we're in here. <gasps> oh, no! We left the front door open! Close it, quick! A yeah. uh, 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 monster! Hurry, Caillou! We'll have to use the secret exit to escape!
trapped! No! Meow. Gilbert, it was you all along! Great job, guys. You've tidied up the whole garden. No, we didn't. We were playing dig and build. We just finished building our base when a monster attacked us. Luckily, it turned out to be Gilbert. My goodness. Well, all these adventures must have made you both hungry. How about we go inside and I can make you a snack? We can't. We have to make some adjustments to our base. Yeah. What if we get attacked by a real monster next time? Caillou loved playing his video game with Clementine, but building a real base outside was much more fun. Today, Caillou and Rosie were in the park practicing riding their bicycles. They were having lots of fun cycling up and down the path together. <laughs> Look, Mommy! No feet! That's very impressive, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. Caillou noticed that all his friends were riding their bicycles without training wheels on. Hey, where are your training wheels? We don't need them anymore. Watch! Come on, Caillou. We're going to go ride down the hill. Caillou felt a little silly. He didn't want to be the only one using training wheels. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want my training wheels anymore, Daddy. I want to ride my bicycle like a grown-up. Well, if you think you're ready, I could teach you to ride without them. I'm ready. There you go, Caillou. Caillou was eager to catch up with his friends. He hopped straight on his bicycle and tried to ride it. Wait for me! Careful, Caillou. You haven't ridden without training wheels before. Never mind. Let me kiss it better. Mommy kissed Caillou's knee. It made it feel much better. It feels better now, Mommy. You're very brave, Caillou. Let's try again, but let me hold you up this time. You have to learn to balance first. Okay, ready? Let's go. Hold on tight, Caillou. Whoa! It's okay. You're doing great. Don't let go, Daddy! <laughs> I already have, Caillou. Caillou was riding the bike all by himself. I'm doing it! Great job, Caillou! Look! I don't need my training wheels anymore! Wow, Caillou! You're really good at riding your bike. Thanks! Daddy taught me how. Let's go down the hill again! As Caillou rode down the hill, he could feel the wind rushing against his face. It was lots of fun. Wow! That was amazing! I think I went the fastest! No way! I was the fastest! How about we have a race to see who's the fastest? Great idea, Clem! Okay, guys, the first one to go around that tree and back is the winner of the race. Are you going to race too, Rosie? Zoom, zoom! Okay, is everyone ready? Ready! ready. Three, two, one, go! Caillou and his friends raced off towards the tree, pedaling as fast as they could. But Rosie struggled to keep up on her little tricycle. <laughs> I'm going to win! Rosie, you won the race! Well done, Rosie! Wow! You must have gone really fast, Rosie! I didn't even see you go past me! 
Caillou knew that Rosie hadn't really won the race properly, but he also knew that she was only little. When you're ready, I'll teach you to ride a grown-up bike just like me. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to their very first circus. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait for the show to begin. When is the circus going to start, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. Get your popcorn. Get your cotton candy. Can I get a snack, please? Sure. What would you like? Caillou loved popcorn, but the cotton candy looked good, too. Both, please? Too much sugar is bad for you, Caillou. You can only have one. I can't choose one. I want both. Caillou wished that he could eat popcorn and cotton candy for dinner instead. Why don't you have a mix of sweet and salted popcorn? That way, each one will be a surprise. That's a brilliant idea! Mmm! I got a sweet one! Thank you! The lights went down and Caillou saw a man in a tall hat standing in the middle of the tent. Who's that, Daddy? That's the ringmaster. He's in charge of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magical Marvelous Circus. The first act will be the Clumsy Clowns. Everybody in the audience laughed when one of the clowns played a silly trick on Daddy. It was a pretend flower, Daddy! After the clowns had finished, it was time for the tumbling acrobats, who formed a pyramid in the middle of the ring. Caillou thought the person at the top must be very brave. Finally, came the plate spinners, who balanced plates on tall poles. Caillou was amazed. They didn't drop a single one. Can I be a plate spinner too, Mommy? Oh, yes. I'll get you some plastic ones to practice with on the way home. The circus had finished, and all the performers came out to take a bow. Caillou had loved every minute of it, but now that it was all over, he felt a little sad. Mommy, when we get home, will you help me make my own circus? Of course, Caillou. That sounds like lots of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Caillou's Magical Circus. For my first act, I'll need two assistants. Mommy and Daddy helped Caillou make a pyramid, just like the acrobats in the real circus. He felt very brave being at the top. Watch out, Caillou. Don't drop them. Caillou was very good at plate spinning. He didn't drop a single one though he might have had a little help from Mommy. <laughs> Caillou had something very special planned for his big finale. Be careful, Caillou. That bucket looks very heavy. <gasps> Put it down, Caillou. You could hurt yourself. Look out! Caillou, you tricked us. That was a very clever joke, Caillou. That was the best circus we've ever seen. Great job, Caillou. Caillou had lots of fun making his own circus, and he couldn't wait to show his new trick to all his friends. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. 
So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool! When you squeeze them, they change color, but you never know which color you're going to get! Yellow one! I want yellow one! Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie! Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you! Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great! Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou. Caillou, come and look at this. It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course! Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there. I'm Jesse. Hi! I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it! Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops! I'm sorry. That's okay. You almost had it. I can help you. There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well... At least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in 
there? What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside. And sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg. <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go. What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. Today, Mommy had taken Caillou and Rosie to get their eyes tested at the optometrist's. Mommy, why do people wear glasses? Glasses have special lenses that help people see better. Do I need glasses? Well, that's why we're here, Caillou. The optometrist is going to do some tests on your eyes. Caillou didn't like the sound of having his eyes tested. Hi, you must be Caillou and Rosie. I'm the optometrist. My job is to test your eyes to see whether or not you need glasses. What kind of test? Don't worry, they're fun. Come inside and I'll show you. Why don't you take a seat, Caillou? What are those? These are a special pair of glasses we use to test your eyesight. If you're having trouble seeing, I can change the lenses like this. Whoa, everything looks fuzzy. What about now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Caillou, I'm going to show you some letters and I need you to tell me what they are. That's an A. Very good. Do you know any words that start with the letter A? Apple, that's a good one. What about this letter? That's a C for carrot. Excellent. Mommy says that carrots are good for my eyes. That's right. Eating fruit and vegetables is very important for keeping your eyes nice and healthy. Caillou thought the eye test was a lot of fun. Okay, Rosie, it's your turn now. Caillou could see that Rosie was looking a little nervous. Don't worry, Rosie. It's fun. Okay, Rosie. Can you tell me what this is a picture of? Woof! Woof! Excellent. What about this one? Moo! That's right. Well, I think that's enough testing for now. Why don't you go and take a look at some glasses while I look at your results? Mommy, Caillou, and Rosie looked at all the different types of glasses. What about these ones? <laughs> Mommy, these ones are too big. I look silly. Well... What about these, then? These are cool. They're like something a spaceman would wear. Great news, Caillou. You both did very well on your eye tests. You and Rosie don't need glasses. Aw, but I really like these glasses. Here you are. You can wear these whenever you like. Awesome! Thank you! Caillou was happy he had good eyesight, but he was even happier he was able to keep the spaceman glasses. Today was a very exciting day for Caillou. He and his classmates had gone on a school trip to the aquarium. Keep close, everyone, and stay with your trip buddy. Wow! Caillou looked at all the fish in the tank. 
There were big ones and small ones, long ones and round ones, and fish in every color imaginable. Caillou thought it was amazing. <laughs> You're my favorite. Caillou, come on. You're going to miss it. Oops, sorry, I'm coming. Goodbye. Wow, this room is even bigger. It's like we're fish underwater. <laughs> it's starting. What is it? Caillou watched as a man swam around with the fish. He thought it looked like lots of fun. Wow. They said that the mask he's wearing helps him to breathe underwater. And the special shoes help him swim like a fish. <laughs> Caillou thought that swimming around with all the fish looked amazing. He imagined what it would be like. Hi there! Have you seen any treasure nearby? Thanks for the help! Look at all this treasure! <laughs> there you are! Caillou loved finding the buried treasure, but he didn't understand why he had to wear the funny coat. Is everyone ready? You might get a little wet. It's time to meet our friend, the sea lion. Caillou loved being a scuba diver and seeing all of the fish, but he loved being a starfish even more. <laughs> 